What we're hoping and what the early data from outbreak hotspots suggests is that the point of care ultrasound is one of the most sensitive finders of viral pneumonia. While we can't say with 100% specificity that when we see infections it is from COVID, in a high pretest probability where there is a lot of the virus around in the population, positive findings on your ultrasound is highly suspicious of a COVID positive case. It can help bring testing to places that have challenges with current testing pathways. It can help identify high-risk patients much faster. It can get people to care much faster if they need it. Uh, and it can also provide a way to really easily clean and sanitize the testing devices in between use of patients uh, and minimize the resource utilization. One of these devices could deliver essentially thousands of tests in the hands of one operator instead of having to burn through a lot of swabs uh, that may be even less effective than the ultrasound. I think having these devices is a really significant adjunct to our current clinical pathways. Uh, in the setting of COVID, it really provides a high yield piece of data for a clinician to use and integrate into their clinical workflow and figure out exactly how to best treat each patient. In the broader scheme of things, it's become invaluable. And as the clinical and medical population is starting to appreciate how transformative this technology really is in the hands of clinicians. Honestly, nothing's been this disruptive for the clinical encounter of healthcare worker and their patient since the invention of the stethoscope, which was over 200 years ago. You know, if you imagine a rural practitioner in either a clinic or even in some of the ERs where there's no uh, diagnostic imaging infrastructure in-house even overnight and they need to call in a radiology technologist to help with x-rays, uh, or they're stuck with their stethoscope, which we know the value of the data from the stethoscope is highly variable, even in the best of hands. And now they have a tool they can pick up and actually look right inside of the patient's chest, see with high accuracy whether this patient has pneumonia or another condition of the lungs causing their short of breath and immediately have answers. And one of the huge values of our project is, and if they're not sure about that image, they can call for help right away through the application and get extra consultation from experts across the province who can help them interpret and generate an image. The Clarius handheld HD scanner, this is a phased array scanner. So it excels particularly at cardiac applications, but is also amenable to doing uh, abdominal scanning as well as some soft tissue and musculoskeletal scanning. And it has a self-contained battery that can be separately charged up top and replaceable. So a lot of the units have an extra battery, so you never experience a dead battery lifetime. And we put gel on the transducer and then you can scan away wherever you'd like. Uh, and what makes this device also unique is it can link to any handheld smart device, whether iOS or Android, and it wirelessly transmits to its own application. So it enables use with your personal smartphone devices, which some of our physicians do and some of the people in our clinics will be using, or we also have dedicated tablets that are for use within especially higher risk environments that need better cleaning and for more secure data transmission in the hospital setting.